Adblock traffic monetization for publishers. As a publisher, you want to make sure that your ads are visible to all the visitors of your website in order to monetize your traffic. However, some visitors might prefer to use an ad blocker to hide all your ads, which might reduce the potential revenues you get from your traffic. That's why ExoClick has prepared a workaround so that you can continue displaying ads to users that have adblock extensions enabled. In this video tutorial, we will explain what files you need to download and what steps you need to follow in order to bypass ad blockers. Note that this tutorial is intended for the following ad formats, banners, sticky banners, native ads, and instant message. For pop under ads, you just need to place the inline code we offer in the admin panel and it will monetize all types of users. Step 1. Download the required files. The first step is to visit the link in the documentation and download the files corresponding to the latest version. In this downloaded folder, you will find three important files. The frontend underscore loader.js. The backend underscore loader.php. The diagnostics.php. Step 2 Renaming and Configuring the Files The next step is to rename the frontend underscore loader and the backend underscore loader file. You can use whatever name you like, as long as it does not contain the word ad. This is done to prevent ad blockers from detecting these files. The diagnostics.php does not need to be renamed, but you will have to edit line 16 from the file in order to reflect the new name of the backend underscore loader. Then, open the backend underscore loader file. You will need to make some changes in order to make sure traffic is identified correctly. Go to line 81, under User Environment. If your website is based on a Cloudflare server, change the line from the code to the text shown here. If you are using Jinx or Apache, then you will have to use this text instead. These codes will help us locate the correct IP used by the visitors from your website. Later on, when we test the integration, you will see in the diagnostics page whether these changes helped us identify the user. There are more changes you can do in your backend underscore loader file to make ad serving under adblock more efficient, which you can check out our documentation to find out more about in our documentation. Step 3. Uploading the files to your server. After doing all these changes, upload the files to your website server. Step 4. Add the anti-adblock codes to your site HTML. The last step consists of adding a few HTML snippets in your website in order to call the files required to display your ads. There are three codes you need to add. The first code calls our frontend underscore loader.js and needs to be placed right after the opening body tag. The second code calls our backend underscore loader.php and needs to be placed right before the closing body tag. The third code will generate the ad zone for ad block users. Note that the zone ID you add here needs to be the same that you have in the admin panel, and it needs to be from one of the compatible ad formats we mentioned at the beginning of the video. You can add as many codes as ad zones you want to show, as long as these codes are between the frontend underscore loader and backend underscore loader codes. Once you have added these codes to your website, you should start showing ads to ad block users. If you are experiencing problems, such as traffic not being counted properly, you can use the diagnostics file to find out whether there are any issues with your integration. You can also find additional troubleshooting steps in our documentation. If traffic is being counted correctly, you will see your results in the adblock traffic tab from your publisher statistics in the admin panel. Thanks for watching this video.